Fan time! I'm Mr. Cotton, and this is AMI Week 2. Today's video is going to be broken down into four parts. The first is the assignment, the second is how to submit, the third is tips for learning and potential problems you may run into, and the fourth is an example submission. Before we get started, a couple quick things. Number one, make sure you are signed up for the banned Google Classroom so you can submit your assignment. Number two, make sure you're signed up for the band Remind for quick updates. And number three, make sure you're a member of the band Facebook page for in-depth announcements. The assignment. You're going to learn a popular song by ear, then record the performance and submit it to me. You can either do a video or audio only. The recording has to be at least 30 seconds long. Can it be a country song? Yes. Can it be a pop song? Yes. Can it be a band song online that we haven't learned yet? Yes. Can it be a pet band song we've already learned or Go Big Blue? Absolutely not. I said no. You need to submit your recording with you playing along to the audio. I recommend playing the song on laptop or computer speakers while you play. Make sure to state the name of your song and also your name before you begin playing. How to submit. There are two ways for you to submit your assignment. Number one, upload your video to YouTube and then share that YouTube link to our Google Classroom page, or you can upload directly to the Google Classroom assignment. The second one is if you don't have internet, you can submit by, wait, wait a minute. How are you watching this if you don't have internet? If someone doesn't have internet or if you are on a limited data connection, like the only internet you have is through using a phone, then I recommend using Google Voice in order to submit your assignment. All you have to do is call this number and then whenever you submit your assignment, you just play everything to the phone. Make sure to not point your computer speakers or your instrument directly at the phone. Otherwise, that's going to make it too loud and it's going to degrade the audio quality. And what will happen is essentially you're just recording a voicemail that Google is then going to send me in an email so I can listen to your assignment. This is a great way you can also ask questions if you don't want to just call me directly. Tips for learning and potential problems. The first thing to do when learning a melody by ear is to listen multiple times through the recording and be able to hum or sing the entire melody that you're trying to learn. Second, I recommend learning your song off of YouTube specifically. The reason for this is you can use the playback feature in the bottom right hand corner. Just click on the gear icon and then choose playback speed. Then select any number that's smaller than one. What will this will do is slow down the audio but keep the pitch the same. Just know that the more you slow down the audio, the choppier it's going to get. The next is to learn your song in chunks. Break it down into small two to four measure pieces and then put them together as you learn it. The next thing to do is to learn it in chunks. I recommend isolating small one to four measure bar chunks, learning that, then putting them together, which is just like what we do in band class. You can also do your best to write down the notes and rhythms to aid in learning and memorization. Lastly, I recommend using the penny game. This is where you take five of any object and you place them on your bed or music stand, and every time you play it correctly, you move one from the left to the right. Once you get all five items to the right, you can move on. However, let's say you've played it four times correctly and on the fifth time you play it incorrectly, move all five of the items back and you have to restart from the beginning. This is going to make sure that whenever you are playing it, you are playing it perfectly correct. Always make sure to be focusing on correct pitch, rhythm, articulation, and tone. Remember, if you practice sloppy, you get good at sloppy, so make sure you practice excellence. There are potentially a couple problems that you may run into in this. The first is a really difficult key signature. Remember that music doesn't follow the same rules when it comes to band and choosing the easiest key signature. It's whatever key signature is easiest for the singer to sing in. So oftentimes you're going to be playing in keys that we don't play in band. You may have a song that has seven sharps or seven flats. If this is too difficult, I recommend choosing a different song. 
Another issue you may run into is it's a weird melody on instrument. While it may sound great being sung, whenever you play it on the instrument, it's actually really boring. Sometimes there are melodies that only use one to maybe three or four notes that sound great, but as soon as you start playing it, you realize it's not that great on an instrument. That's why a lot of pet bands and marching bands don't play a lot of rap tunes. There's not a lot of melody there. Lastly, the music could be in a weird range. The song itself could be in a range that you're not comfortable playing in. So for example, a flute player may be too low or too high, or it could just be too rangy in general for you. So going from really low notes to really high notes. This probably isn't going to happen very much because in general, instruments have a much bigger range than singers do, but it could potentially happen. Also, if you're a flute player or a tuba player or a trombone player, make sure that you're transposing the melody to your correct octave. If you're a tuba player, you're going to be playing much lower than it's written. If you're a flute, it's going to be much higher than it's written. So make sure to watch for that. Lastly, I have an example submission of what this should look like. My name is Mr. Cotton, and this is Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. have any questions, please feel free to call or email me anytime during regular school hours. Info is on Google Classroom in order how to contact me. In addition, I'll be offering different times where we can video chat if you would like help one-on-one -on -one or if you want to take a private lesson on your instrument. Remember, make sure to stay healthy and keep practicing.